Hello, Adodos. Welcome to join us today. Today we are bringing you a groundness yoga flow. But however, not the whole flow. We don't have to be sitting down on the floor the whole flow. The groundness is about we are bringing our intentions inwards, and we are focusing more on what we need in our body, inside our body, mentally and physically. So. A lot of the times we wanted to open up, we wanted to create more space, but time to time we also have to come back to our temple to come inwards. And I hope you enjoy this flow with us. And、um, yeah, let's get started. In the center of our mat, seated. Close your eyes and bring your intentions in. Have a few rounds of connective breaths through the nose. Imagine your body is a physical temple, like a home, and you are homecoming. Big inhale. Exhale. Walk your hands out in front of you, or come into a forward fold. Keep the sit bones grounded on the mat. And exhale. Come to the right side. Open up the left. Side of the body, bring the forehead towards the right knee. And we move to the left side. Open up the right side of the body. Exhale. Keep the sit bones grounded the whole time. And inhale, come back to center. And bring the hands closer to your legs. Lift yourself up. Come onto tabletop. A few rounds of cat and cows. Inhale, open up the heart. Dip your belly button into the mat. Exhale, push the floor away. Tuck the tailbones in and. Chin into the chest. Three more rounds like this. We'll come back to mutual. Mutual, not mutual. <laughs> Bring the right knee in towards the right wrist, and the right toes closer to the left wrist. Come onto a half pigeon pose. Even out your weight. Don't place it on either side of your hip. Just even out. Lift your upper body up. Open your heart. Bring the hands a little bit forward of you. We wave. Feel wave of your spine. Exhale down. Forehead down. Inhale up. Like a cobra. Exhale. Open the elbows. Bring the forehead down. Inhale up. Exhale down. And then we stay in this fold. Rest your upper body on top of your right side and feel the stretch of your left hip flexor and right outer hip. Three rounds of breaths here. Gently lift yourself up, pivot onto, come onto the toe on the toes of your left foot, and pivot your right knee to bring the right leg behind your view. Right hand firmly down, align with the right knee and side plank. Place the left foot all the way grounded down onto the mat. Open 
yourself towards the sky. Push the hips forward. Use the core strength to lift yourself up. Gate pose. Side stretch on the right side. And wing, mill, wing, mill, wing the wheel. <laughs> the arm all the way down. Come on two or four. And now we come to the other side. Bring the left knee closer to the left wrist. Half pigeon pose on the left side. Evenly distribute your weight in between your hips. Open your your heart. Inhale here. Exhale, hands a little bit forward. Forehead onto the mat. Open the elbows. And inhale up. Cobra wave of your upper body. It's really good for your spine. And come back down. Rest your forehead on your forearms. And inhale, lift yourself back up. Tuck the toes, tuck the right toes, and pivot your body on your left knee. And bring the left leg behind you. Side plank. Open the right side up and push the hips forward, so that you can face a little bit more towards the sky, like a、um, wild thing with the knee on the ground. And lift through your right fingertips all the way up. Side stretch on the left gate pose. Right hand down onto the right leg, and bring your arms all the way down. Windmill. <laughs> Come onto a child's pose. Bring the legs, the knees a little bit wide. Come to rest on your heels. Arms extended out in front of us. <sighs> Three rounds of connective breaths here. At the end of your breath, we come onto our forearms, slide our body forward, and lift your knees off the floor. We come onto a for forearm plank. Keep the hips elevated. Your body weight is evenly distributed through your arm and your leg and your toes. And from here, we gently walk the feet towards the forearm. Stop at the point where you cannot anymore, like feel the strength restraint of your hamstring, and you just stop there. Dolphin pose. Gaze at your own leg or feet or thigh. Try to reach the heels towards the mat. See if you can lengthen in your hamstring a little bit more. Forearm very strong. Push the floor away and shoulders away from the ears. And from here, take a big inhale. Why you taking the inhale? See if you can push onto your hands, one hand at a time or both hands at one time. This is really entirely up to your own strength. We、we'll、come into a downward facing dog. And then at this point, you feel your legs are much loosened up. Versus the dolphin pose, you can work out your legs a little bit. Big deep inhales and exhales, and work your feet towards your hands. Forward fold. <sighs> Halfway lift, inhale, and forward fold. Slightly bend the knees, lift your body up, hands together, and lift up. Bring hands together at heart center, Tadasana, Mountain Pose. One round of sound salutation A. 
come out to the front of your mat. Inhale. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bring the hands on the mat. Jump or walk back towards the high plank. Inhale here. Exhale, either knees, chest, chin or chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift the hips up. Lengthen the hamstrings. Bring the chest towards the sides. Big and deep inhale and exhales. Inhale, bend the knee. Gaze in between the hands. And lift your hips. Jump to the front of the mat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lift yourself all the way up. Inhale, hands together and lift. Slightly back bend. Exhale, heart center. Hands at heart center. <laughs> All right, so we will incorporate a few rounds of and uh, Tai Chi practices. Keep your feet a little bit hip distance wide, wider than hip distance. And when you take inhale, lift your arms up like you are sucking all energies from the universe. And exhale, throw it out. Bend the knees and forward fold and arms behind you. So this is what we call in Tai Chi, Yun Qi. So it's like you are operating the Qi inside of your body, letting out the negativities. We'll do 10 times like this at your own pace. Just inhale, suck in, exhale, throw it out. You can even come onto the balls of your feet when you take the inhale, if you can keep that balance. All right, let's start. In through the nose, exhale through the mouth. For five, for four, three, one. And inhale, come back to center. We right way dip our hips down into a malasana, yugi squat. Mm. Feel the lightness of your body, like you just did a cleaning of your home. So that your home is clean and cozy and comfortable again. To host you. Bring the hips down. We'll come to lay down on our back. Bridge pose. So now we are going to do a few reversion asanas. Sometimes, you know, like if you wanted to feel the groundness, it's not always from feet down towards the mat. Sometimes you can also ground your head down, your upper body down towards the mat. Bring the feet hip distance wise and closer to the glutes, hands next to the glutes. Take a big inhale, exhale, lift the glutes off the floor, lift the hips up. Bring the knees together and pinch the glutes muscles together. Five rounds here. Exhale, bring it down. Bring the knees into the chest and legs straightened. Pointing the toes towards the sky, half plow pose. See if you can last 10 rounds of breaths here. Enough for letting the blood flow running back towards your heart. So nice to have the doggies around us when we do yoga. What a blessing. All right, at the end of the tense breath, lift the hips up and see if you can support with your hands on your lower back and lift your hips all the way up and perpendicular on your shoulders and Pointing the feet all the way towards the sky, shoulders stand. So form this straight line as straight as possible. 
as you can. <sighs> My nose is a little bit blocked these days, so I might sound a little bit, <laughs> I don't know, like funny. And bend the knees. Bring the knees closer to the forehead and lengthen the legs all the way behind your head. Bring, uh, reach the toes of your feet towards the floor in front of your head, and interlace the hands behind your hip and pinch the shoulder blades together. Plow pose. Hips are still elevated above our shoulder. <sighs> This asanas are bringing a lot of strength, restraints on our neck and shoulder. If you have neck problems, I suggest you not to do it. Just stay in bridge pose or just shavasana, resting pose. All right. So for those of you who are in this pose, bring the hands together back on the hips again, lower back, and bring the hips down, 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 down. And bend the knees, bring the knees into the chest. Let's massage our lower back by circling around our knees. A few rounds to the right, a few rounds to the left. And extend the left leg out, bring the right knee in. Twist towards the left. Bring the right knee towards the left side of the mat and extend your right arm out. Gaze up or gaze to the right. Make sure that your right shoulder is grounded onto the mat. Hmm. My right hand is touching my knee's belly. <laughs> and inhale, come back to center. We bring it to the outer side. Bring the left knee in and extend the right leg, twist towards the right. <clears throat> Come back to center, happy baby. Bring the knees wide. And hands on the edge of the feet, bring the knees towards the armpit, lower back on the floor and open the hips towards the sky like a happy baby. You can rock side to side. <sighs> now we bring the soles of the feet together, knees wide open. Recline the butterfly, hands resting on the sides or on belly, and one hand on heart, one hand on belly, wherever they rest on your body to care and touch and pet yourself, like give yourself a little bit of care and love, touching yourself is a good thing. Let yourself let your energy settle onto the ground, onto the mat. You feel like homecoming. <laughs> Whatever you are into, you are busy with, let it go. This is a moment for yourself to relax and to take care of your tempo. It's a moment for yourself. Ground your energy down to connect your energy through the Mother Earth and the universe. Time to time we need to cleanse our body, our soul, so that we can feel the connection in between the universe and the Mother Earth again. I always feel like I'm a tube, you know, like the energy is through, running through my spine. 
between the mothers and the universe. And if I vibrate with the surroundings around me, then we, if we are on the same frequency, then that vibration will be amplified to a much bigger environment. And in the end, eventually, my energies will be felt by other beings that are very, very far away from me. Somehow, maybe I can change the world. <laughs> it's just a personal perspective. It's kind of cute. Bring the knees together. Take a big inhale and come to the side of our body and sit yourself up. Time for me to move inside because the sun is settling and I am going to get cold. <laughs> without the sun. Sit in an easy seat pose again, like how we started. Feel the differences, how your energy has shifted and how your body is feeling right now. Gently blink your eyes open if they're not. Big inhale and exhale. I know we all have a very busy life and however, it is really beneficial to take a bit of time out every day to give ourselves a little bit self care and love to clean our temple, like cleaning our house so that we can welcome more positive energies inside. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed with us, my babies. And uh, yeah, I'll keep flowing and I'll keep bringing more fun, playful and beneficial flows to enjoy with you. Till then, keep tuned and enjoy your day and your week or good luck to whatever you're doing right now.